Uh, I also got a thing from Alabama. They sent me this. So I hope you're fine with me today. If you are, that would be amazing. But if I go to Bama, then I'm no longer loyal to the force. That's so. right. So this is dirt. <laughs> Our dinner for this evening, which was a delicious frozen pizza. Hey, you guys, on our way to Las Vegas. Tuesday. I'm Jill and this is it's the Donnellys. I am in Maryland getting ready to go on a three-day trip. It is 4.27 in the morning. I have to be at the airport by 5.20 so I have got to skedaddle. I'm going to go ahead and pack my food bag first though of the stuff that I brought up with me from Florida. Today I am headed to Las Vegas and then to Sacramento, California. So it'll be two legs. I am the A flight attendant. So I'm the one up front giving all of the um, PAs and greeting you when you come on the plane. So I hope you're fine with me today. If you are, that would be amazing. I picked up this trip yesterday. I I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film while on the plane. I know I say that all the time. It's really actually true, but hopefully you guys will get to see a little bit of our way out. And if not, I will see you in Sacramento. But first, food. We made some chicken at home, it was so good. With our dirt, oh my gosh, you guys, I totally forgot to tell you about dirt. I did film when I was at home some of our dirt. So this is dirt. <laughs> All right, this is the whole collection, you guys, right here. This is Chesapeake dirt, the original dirt, Bayou dirt, Salty Sailor dirt. And I haven't tried the marinades yet, but they sent these to me. The original Todd's dirt marinade with steak, chicken, marinated salad dressing. And this is down and dirty marinade steak chicken marinade. It is um, and this little cookbook, which I didn't even know they had a cookbook. I think that's the cutest thing ever. Anyway, I discovered this dirt when I was just at the hardware store at home and I am absolutely addicted to it. So I contacted Todd's and I'm like, can I buy this in Florida? He's like, no, but we can send it to you online. Anyway, so they sent me this collection, you guys. I'm so excited to share these with you. These two I've tried, the original and the Salty Sailor. Clearly the best like steak rub. We, we put it on pork tenderloin. We put it on chicken. We put it on steak. It is, it's hands down the best. So you guys should try it. Give it a whirl. Locally made by a guy named Todd. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the best thing ever. I happened upon it one day, like two and a half years ago, maybe longer than that. I told you at the hardware store <laughs> while I was in line, I'm like, oh, let me try this. Oh my gosh, we put it on everything. I absolutely love it. So I highly recommend it. Thank you again for Todd, to Todd for sending it to me. I went to order it online and um, we ended up getting on the phone together. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I would totally love to share this with all my followers. So he sent me a gift pack, um, but I am a huge believer and bought a ton of it before that even ever happened. So I'll put the link in the description below where you guys can get your own dirt. I highly recommend it. Let me tell you what time it is. Here, it is exactly one o'clock. At home, it is four o'clock in the afternoon. I left this morning at what, four, was it 4.26, something like that? So it's been 12 hours and we hopscotched across the country. We started in Baltimore and then we went to Las Vegas. That was a nice, long, long flight. Actually, two friends of mine were on the flight, which is so funny. We had some ground time in Las Vegas, so I did go into um, the crew lounge. I'll show you a picture. I took a picture of us there. I have so many classmates from training who um, are based in Las Vegas and that for sure I might see at least one or two of them at the crew lounge, but I did not. I sent a text out, anybody here? Nobody was there, so I didn't get to see them, but that's okay. Then we went from Las Vegas to uh, Sacramento, and here we are, and I have to say, I'm pretty good at geography, and I guess if I thought about it, I would know it, but I looked on the map just now, and Sacramento is actually northeast of San Francisco, so it's pretty northern California. I knew it was near Reno, but I guess I didn't put Reno that far north. Anyway, I am starving. I have eaten I think this morning I at five o'clock no probably 5 30 
I had a Starbucks um, feta egg white spinach wrap and that's the only thing I've eaten since then. That was 12 hours ago. I'll show you my hotel room. It's not that fancy. Not, not the best one. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Hope you guys have a great day. I know that Mike and Ryan are at home completing some college applications for Ryan and the like. So, um, see you later. Okay, it's another day in which to excel. There's Ryan Arno. Big day today. Big, big, big day with Ryan. Just the men. Men, 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 men. Jill is flying through Las Vegas and just landed in Sacramento, California. And there is the man who yeah. just finished his what? Um, USF application and sent in some stuff for FSU. A lot of good stuff. Great stuff. Uh, I also got a thing from Alabama. He sent me this. Oh. Which is kind of tough. I was reading through it. I mean, I'm sure they sent this to everybody. But, you know, trying to, huh. trying to give me an apply. Would you apply? Yeah, I am. I am oh, you are? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? Bama. Why not? Trout's uh, went to Bama. Yeah, right. I am pullover from them. So. Except they have a, an elephant as a mascot. That's the problem. What's wrong with that? Yeah, well, it's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> I like saving. I like I like all everything about Bama except for you know, stole our spot in the CFP. Oh so right, 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 right. But if I go to Bama, then I'm no longer loyal to the Florida. State That's Bama. right. That's so, right. You know. All right, so Katie and Brennan are up at school, and it's just Ryan and I because Jill's flying around, so it's just mm -hmm. the two of us. We um, had a good night, though, huh? Time for a haircut soon. Look at this. Oh, my God. Wow. Interesting. That's quite a yep. Quite a do. I got senior pictures in a week. Oh, can we do it now? So let's do it now. So Yeah, I'm going to get a... Uh, crew cut? Pretty soon. You need a crew cut? Ooh. Ooh. Like that. <laughs> I wish you'd do that soon. Yeah. Uh, all right. And then what else? Uh, life's good. Yeah. You were the mascot today. That was cool. I was the mascot today. It was awesome. Yeah. Killed some homework and uh, we had a good day. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. I'm back in my hotel room. I am now ironing my uniform for tomorrow. I had the pleasure of going to dinner with one of the flight attendants from my trip. And then we met other flight attendants in the um, shuttle who are with Southwest. So, and two captains or two pilots. So there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us out to dinner. And we had such a nice time. It was so fun. I have to say my, one of the, my favorite things about this job is meeting people, obviously. You guys, you guys know that, we've talked about that a lot. But like, just um, learning from other people and like these are, folks that like from all walks of life, from all like different backgrounds, from all areas of the country. It's not like a regular job where sort of you go and, and you work with people who kind of live in the same area that you do. Like this is from all over all the time. And sometimes like I realize like I'll never see these people again. I, I very well potentially could never see them ever again. There are so many thousands of flight attendants at Southwest and we're all going different places, different days from different bases and all that stuff. So it's like you make fast friends and then you're with them for three days or two days or dinner and then then you say goodbye. Like, but it's just so fun. I love asking questions. I love learning about people and and how they got here and what their family's like and and you know some of their experiences on the plane. It's just so much fun. So it's really great. And everybody seems, well, most of the people seem to have just sort of this spirit of adventure too, that they're like, oh, all right, sure. Like, let's go have dinner or let's go to the park or let's do whatever. So I really do enjoy that. Um, but anyway, it is six o'clock California time, which makes it nine o'clock East Coast time. So I am getting ready to sort of settle in and get to bed. We have to meet tomorrow morning at 4.30 in the morning California time, which is really 7.30 East Coast time, <laughs> but it all goes um, out the window if I don't go to bed on um, East Coast time. So it'd be nice to be able to like have a good night's sleep and everything tonight. So I'm gonna finish ironing my uniform and then I'm gonna try to do a little bit of editing. And then you guys, I am totally into this book. Okay, wait, hold on, let me hang this up.
scat. Um, I didn't mean to put um flash. Yeah, I don't know why the flash went off. Hmm. There's the cat. Uh, still no word from Alice, but we're we're having our we have still have some hope for her. And I uh, wanted to show you our dinner for this evening, which was a delicious frozen pizza. So we wanted to do a little Hawaiian. So we put some bacon and some pineapple on it, and it turned out pretty good, pretty well. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan Argo. Yes, and then we have the, the tree going on. That's exciting. And then I like the fact that this little village thing from Uncle Tim, I like the fact that this these lights go on, they go on and off once in a while. So it's like there's somebody inside flipping on a switch. Yeah. Go. They don't do it very often, but it's like, go. Yeah. <laughs> I will see if we can catch it. All right. Oh, oh did it go? Yeah. It did go. Well, Isn't that great? Well, Somebody's in there, got it. They got it going. Yeah. Somebody's in that church. Is it a church? No, it's a house. No, it's a winery. It's a winery. Um, yeah. All right, young man, let's uh, wrap it up. And uh, have another great day. Just talked to Jilly and she is kicking it in Sacramento. So I've been reading this book, The Boys in the Boat, and it is it came highly recommended to me from my parents. That my parents bought a copy of it for um, all of their children. Um, I'm gonna say like 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. And I never read it, but I'm reading it now. It's coming out as a movie on Christmas Day. and. I cannot put it down. I absolutely love it. It's so good. So I think I'm going to snuggle up in bed, do a little bit of editing, read my book, and then go to sleep and see you guys in the morning. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. So again, I made it all the way to Sacramento, but tomorrow stay tuned to find out where I go tomorrow because I have another, I have only two legs tomorrow, but I go to a city that I've never been to before. And I'm pretty excited about it because a lot of people say it's a really cool overnight like that's what you say like oh where are you overnighting like that's kind of the lingo um when when you're flying because you go to different cities and then you overnight in a city then you go to different cities and you overnight in a city so there's cities along the way but you really don't so much get out even into the airport or into the city at all until you get to where your final destination is for that day. So tomorrow night, I'm overnighting in some place that I've never been before, so I'm pretty excited about that. And stay tuned to find out what that is. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Come up with what made you guys happy today. What made me happy today was meeting a new crew and meeting all the wonderful, wonderful passengers. All right, see you guys later. Bye.